Hi y'all, this is Leah here with Southern Country Comforts. We have our first snowfall of the year. It's actually our first good snowfall in several years. So I thought what better way to give the introduction for my Christmas home tour than to come outside and do it in the snow. So welcome to my channel and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Um, this is going to be my Christmas home tour and I hope you enjoy it. Um, my decor is mostly traditional style. Um, I live out in the country um, as you can see and um, the dirt road is here behind me. Um, we live on about 30 acres um, but we live the closest Walmart and that's a small Walmart is about 30 miles away and the closest Hobby Lobby is about an hour away. So a lot of my decor is thrifted decor. It is um, decor that I have um, just collected over the years. A lot of it is sentimental and um, that's been passed down. And you'll find that's the case um, with a lot of country homes. Um, so a lot of it's very special. Um, but it's something that I enjoy. Um, I enjoy seeing it in other homes. I enjoy um, a lot of the more trendy styles as well. It's just not something um, that you'll see typically in my home. Uh, but I do enjoy watching those um, home tours with the, the more trendy styles as well too. Um, something that I have been uh, talking with friends about this year is um, we feel the need to really decorate our homes this year. Um, we really feel the need to to bring that Christmas joy into our homes and to our families and um, and I guess it's due to the the extra stress from the virus and from all the extra stress um, from all the political issues going on and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's okay to bring that extra joy and coziness to our families through home decor and through those special gifts. But um, I also want to say, you know, there's only one thing that's going to bring you true joy. And that's through the one gift um, that will only come through our Lord and Savior, um, Jesus Christ. And I strongly encourage you that if you have not received that gift, that you do so this Christmas. And the only way that you can do that is just inviting him to come and live within your heart. And if you haven't done that, please do that this Christmas. Um, but let's not um, pause any longer. Um, let's go take a look at my home and I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start here at the front door and as you can see as you come into the living room our living room is very rustic my husband he's a hunter as well as the rest of our family and we have a nice big elk hanging there in the wall he's actually going to have another elk um, hanging there above the christmas tree it just hasn't made its way there just yet front door is our entryway bench where we come in and take off our shoes we have a little snowman and I had bought him at an antique store and I think he's very cute he has his candle and above that I have a gift from a family friend a little wooden candy cane
pictures that are hanging above the bench are pictures of our children and there's some of my favorite from a couple years ago and to the left of that just my lantern with some candles and a bow on top and an ornament that I had gotten from a store in Branson Missouri And the crate that I had turned up on its side and inside is a manger scene that I'd received from a family friend 21 years ago. To the left of that is an olive bucket that I found at a yard sale that I placed the Christmas tree down inside. This year, for the first time, I decided to hang a wreath on the inside of my front door as well. I found the deer at a local store in Huntsville and attached that to a wreath I had already had. And then the sign hanging above the door that says Merry Christmas, I found at the same store in Branson as I found the other ornament. Both of the signs hanging here, I found at Hobby Lobby. May your journey always lead you home. Typically always hangs there. The barn picture I just found this year at Hobby Lobby, and I love it. I plan on keeping it up all winter long. The candlesticks, I believe, are from Hobby Lobby, and I just tied some bows around them from ribbon from Walmart. The greenery picks I thrifted a couple years ago that already came with the lights in them. This lantern, wooden lantern, is from the same store in Branson that I got the ornaments from. And the metal lantern inside I've had for many, many years. And I thrifted the red bird. And the candlestick and the greener are, are the exact same as on the other side. Down below are some red buffalo plaid trees from Hobby Lobby with a family picture in front. A red truck picture from a store in Huntsville several years ago and a red truck there beside it from Hobby Lobby I believe several years back and I just hot glued a little wreath on the front and stuck a tree in the back of it there beside the table is a crock that I got from a yard sale for $20 and I just stuck some greenery inside of that. This little sled that I stuck on this side table here is very old I've had for several years and I just stuck some greenery picks down inside of it as you can see I don't have a lot on my walls my husband is still adding his mounts to the walls currently he doesn't have everything arranged like he wants it so that's still an ongoing process so i'm leaving it as is for now and just adding things as i go our sectional and our coffee table came from furniture row and i couldn't be happier with them we're very pleased i had discovered some fur accents that i'd used when my four-year-old was born for a photo shoot and pulled them out this fall and winter season and decided to use them in my decor and I have to say I'm really liking them and have incorporated a lot more fur into my decor. 
Do you guys like using fur accents in your home decor? Please comment below. One thing that I noticed this year is I didn't have a lot of decor to hang on the wall. So that's one thing I tried to incorporate more of is wall decor for my Christmas decorations. One thing I've been seeing a lot of here lately is blanket ladders and I love them but I wanted my own version of that. And I found this at the craft fair in Huntsville here recently and I love it and I will try to link his Facebook page below the snowmen that are sitting on the blanket ladder a lady that I used to work with handmade those and I just love them And beside them, I hung a pair of rustic bells that I've had for years with just some twine. Sitting there beside the ladder is a pair of Christmas trees made out of an old feed sack that my mother and I made here recently. My Christmas tree is just made up of very sentimental ornaments and it just has a burlap ribbon wrapped throughout some of the ornaments I've had since we were married and I try to get a new ornament each year to add to that and I also get each of our children an ornament of their own each year to add to the collection. My mother made my tree skirt out of burlap and I love it. Inside the little wooden sleigh is a collection of Christmas books. I read this Christmas book to our children each year on the night before Christmas. It's become a tradition. My oldest child is 19 years old and we've been doing it for the last 19 years. We've been in this house for the last 12 years, but we've only had this new addition with the living room for the last year. So this is only our second Christmas with this new living room and the fireplace in the mantle, I have to say, is my favorite part of our new edition. I love decorating it and I love sitting in front of the fire and watching it burn. I think it is safe to say that at one time or another, everything that is on this mantle came from Hobby Lobby. that hangs here by the mantle came from a store in Huntsville. The little glass tree on the side table was thrifted along with the brass accents there by the fireplace were thrifted as well that hold the pine cones. The tags with the stockings I got from the dollar store that were 80% off and I just repurpose them for tags for our stockings.
Let's head into the dining room area. The two red chairs that sit here I thrifted. The pillows sitting in the chairs. The cases came from Amazon, a set of four. The figurine came from Hobby Lobby as well as the little tree sitting on the tabletop beside it. This old window I thrifted. The teardrop greenery I've had for many years. And I believe the red truck came from Walmart many years ago and I just stuck that on there. The winter village I've had for many years. A couple pieces have been added, but my daughter is 11 and four. Put this together completely on their own and they're very proud of that. This low boy dresser, I had gotten from an antique store and refinished that. This hanging, my grandmother Booth made that for me many years ago, and she has since passed. This is my buffet area. The table used to be our entertainment center many years ago. I found this tin at an old antique store and I just made a hanger on the back using a command strip and put this picture from Hobby Lobby on top of that. Candlestick I have thrifted along with a rooster I've thrifted. And my husband hung that shelf for me with the brackets I found at Hobby Lobby. This lamp I'm very proud of. It came from the recycling center. I believe I paid $3 for that. My father rewired it for me. My diffuser is sitting there beside it, along with an ornament. I just sit there in front of it. On a tray that I thrifted. You'll see my courier and knives tray that I thrifted. I love the Courier and Ives prints. I think they're beautiful. This Merry Christmas that I thrifted. And another Courier and Ives, I have the set for each season, the teacup and the plate. And this is the winter scene. Another copper in there that I thrifted along with some cookie cutters and the scale I got from Hobby Lobby. A tea towel I believe came from Walmart a couple of years back. And just some more items. The picture Merry Christmas came from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. The joy sign I believe came from Hobby Lobby as well. The Christmas tree that's beside the buffet is a new Christmas tree. It came from Amazon. And I want to start it as a farmhouse type Christmas tree. I only have a couple ornaments on it for this year. I wanted to do a topper on it, um, like a rooster or a windmill, um, but with everything going on with the quarantine and the virus and, and with work, I wasn't able to get out and get that, so I just made a bow to put on top of there for this year and just had a couple ornaments so I'm going to add to that as, as the years go on and so I want this to be more of a farmhouse Christmas tree that I'm just going to add to as the years go by.
the garland in the chandelier came from Hobby Lobby. It's a flocked garland. I have a thrifted candle holder that sits in a dull bowl that I've had for many years with some filler. On each side, I have some cute little farm animals that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And it all sits on a tray that I made out of a cabinet door front that I painted and distressed and just had my husband to drill some holes for some handles. I thought it turned out really cute. On my piano, I have a Thomas Kincaid book opened up to Silent Night. And on top of my piano, my major scene is from my husband this year. He surprised me with a new nativity, the Willow Tree Collection. I was so excited. I've been wanting this set for many years. He said that we can add to it for each anniversary. The manger itself came from my grandparents and I'm not sure if my grandfather actually built this manger or if he just used it as a pattern to build another manger. The lamps, the milk glass lamps, I thrifted from an antique store. And the sign above the manger, I just made into a chalkboard from another picture that I had that was just sitting out in the storage building. This old desk I got from a yard sale and just repainted it. And that's where we just keep our mail and things like that. This little snowman tea light I've had for many years. The little lamp came from Hobby Lobby a couple years back. And the snowman candle holders I've had for several years as well. I just stuck some greenery down in that picture. This wood stove is a working wood stove. It does work to heat our home. Although we do also have central heating and air, it cuts down on our costs a great deal. My hutch I purchased off the online Facebook yard sale this past year and repainted it. It's one of my favorite pieces to decorate. On top, I have an old window. several pieces that I've gotten from yard sales and the joy sign came from Hobby Lobby the dishes I got from the recycling center and they're Nortake brand and I paid ten dollars for the whole set and I was so excited to find them they're a beautiful set it's a four piece setting. I am missing three of the salad plates, but I love to thrift, so I'm out to find three more of the salad plates. These are the little min mini lanterns, and I'm starting a small collection of those as well. I think those are so cute. This little cake plate, I found it in an antique store and I purchased it last year or the year before after Christmas and got it at a discounted price. I think I only paid um, $15 for it 
and I was super excited to get that. I thought it was a beautiful piece. I'll give you a little close-up of the pattern on the dishes so you can see the design. And that is the brand. I thought it was a great find for $10 for the whole set. Now we'll take a look into the breakfast area. This is our hot chocolate bar. I recently repainted this little hutch. It used to be a mustard yellow color. I didn't have a sign to go above the hot chocolate bar, so I just tried to freehand this on my chalkboard. I'm definitely not an artist, but I thought it would do for this year. This is my three-tiered tray, and I thought it turned out super cute this year. I love the little red trucks, and I just placed some little Christmas trees around it. I love the little Santa Claus mugs and I'd like to find a couple more of those. The little rolling pin I got at the craft fair in Huntsville this past week. On the bottom I just have a snowman that lights up and he's sitting on a little candle holder. Behind there are just some napkins that I found at the dollar store with little red trucks on them. And then we have our little mini chocolate chips and marshmallows. And this topper I found at the craft fair as well. And it just sits right on top of the coffee cup. This cookie jar I found at a Goodwill, I believe, a couple years back. And I just keep the cups inside of there that go into the Keurig. The Keurig I have sitting on a tray, and then on the tray I have a little cutting board that the Keurig sits on top. The tea towel came from the dollar store, and then my mother, she just added some frills uh, to the bottom of that, just sewed on a little bit of extra there. I thought it turned out really cute. Beside the hot chocolate bar, I have my antique scale hanging. And inside of that, I have some twine balls that I've had for several years. Along with some greenery and some of the lights and cotton balls and just some red berries. And I thought that turned out really pretty. And below that, just an enamel picture that I got from an antique store a couple years back with some antique picnic baskets. For our breakfast table, 
we had an old church pew that a neighbor was kind enough to turn into a corner bench for me and an old antique table that was part of our families that I tried to clean up and refurbish to turn into the table. And sitting on top of that is an old Coke crate from my husband's grandparents when they owned a store here in Kingston. I didn't do a great deal of decorating in my kitchen this year, but I did add a few accents here and there. This is a growth chart where we've kept track of our children over the years. This tray that I thrifted has some mason jars that I thrifted that my mother covered in Mod Podge and Epsom salt. And I just stuck some votives down in there and they turned out very pretty. And this clock my mother-in-law painted, she's quite the artist. And it covers up the wires behind my bread box there. On my open shelving, I have some crocs that I thrifted, and they're from the 1980s. I thought they were really neat. And just a Merry Christmas sign I got several years ago from Hobby Lobby. And some antique salt and pepper shakers that I thrifted, as well as a sled here that I thrifted, and a Santa Claus uh, jar that I thrifted that I put some Hershey's Kisses in. I have to keep it up high because my four-year-old loves Hershey's Kisses so I have to keep it out of reach of her. And we keep our coffee cups um, out in the open because uh, our kids love hot chocolate. So we got them in easy reach. On the windowsill here, I have a snowman container that I thrifted. A Christmas tree that I stuck down in my milk glass container with a little Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus that I thrifted. On the opposite side, I found a matching snowman container at a different thrift store. And this Christmas fall, my husband's aunt painted, so they're quite the artistic family. Here is another Dollar Tree towel that my mother embellished and an old grater with some greenery stuck down in. Here in the corner I have some cookie jars. I have a snowman and a Santa Claus with an antique lamp. And then on my noodle board, on my stove, I found this canister set at a Goodwill this past year. And I loved it.
and there beside it, so just a candle and a white pitcher that I stuck a Christmas tree down in and my homemade vanilla and a little Santa Claus and a snowman sit there in front of it. I really didn't do much decorating on this side of the kitchen. You'll see our eggs sitting there on the counter. We have chickens. If you have chickens, you know that you can leave eggs sitting out on the counter until they're washed for quite some time, but once you wash them, they have to be put in the refrigerator. have a little bit of Christmas decor up on top of the refrigerator. I think everything on top of the refrigerator is thrifted decor except for the joy sign and I believe it came from Hobby Lobby a couple of years back. So a friend of mine is painting her cabinets white and I think it looks fabulous. Comment below if you think my cabinets would look better painted white. I've been thinking about it for years, but I just can't decide. I would definitely like to upgrade our countertops, but that will be a while before that's a possibility. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.